All right, I've read you guys' comments, and I'm going to help you guys out. Um, today's video, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to use CurseForge, and, you know, also addressing some of the things you guys have been uh, wanting help on. So, I'm going to be doing that alongside of how you can use CurseForge, if some of you don't know how to use CurseForge that much, and you want, like, a, you know, something, a better detail on how you can use it. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can do it. So, of course, you know. Just, uh, if you guys already have done so, make sure to download CurseForge. Just so download Overwolf. And then it should pop up on your thing. I have already installed it. I already have it installed. So you don't really have to do much. You just simply click on it. But there, it should say that CurseForge has been officially installed. And then this will pop up. Now you can full screen this. So I already have some of these on here. For you, it probably won't say anything. For you, it probably won't show you anything or any much, but mostly it will just pop up as this, where you will most likely probably Curse Forge will ask you, hey, where is Minecraft? Uh, you just go to settings, right? Go to plus, scan computer for games, or manual add it. You can manually add it by just going to your folders and look locating where you had uh, added, where you have Minecraft at, or you know you just scan computer for games. And you, wherever you, fo which folder you put um, your Minecraft in, it will be in. I put my Minecraft in games, so it should be there. But that doesn't matter. It already, auto it should automatically find the game you have. So like, if you already installed the game onto it, it should be on there. But anyways, we're gonna click on the little Minecraft right here, and also for just modding folders, uh, just so you know if you want to know where your folder is, your users sniff, well your name of course. Curse Forge and then Minecraft where you just do all your modding stuff. Really, just how much RAM you want to allocate. I have mines around like six gigabytes since you know you don't want your game to crash. Most of the time, uh, it should be fine on four, but if you want to increase it, you can. Depending how much RAM you want to allocate to Minecraft, is see how much it can better perform per you know profile because of, you know. The more RAM you use, the more things you use for Minecraft, the more RAM this is gonna take. You know, shaders take up a lot of RAM. Well, because, you know, depending on how much RAM you use, because shaders take that too, as well as the amount of mods you have, you know. Because Minecraft can get as big as it can with a bunch of, with a bunch of mods. But anyways, we're gonna go, and go through, like, you know, where you can browse for, like, you know, mod packs you want to install. Or if you want to, you can create your own if you press create custom profile. You can press the three dots so you can re run regular Minecraft. And you know, you can, if something goes wrong, you'll repair it. And you know, of course, another way, a quick way to open your modding folder. We're gonna create custom profile and show you guys. Uh, you can, sorry, you can import any previously created profile. So if anything you wanna import, you can just, it should be, if you have something downloaded, you can just import it. Uh, you can name your thing, whatever. We're gonna name ours just sim something simple. You know, for just because this is a tutorial, we're gonna name it tutorial. But you can name it whatever you want. Minecraft versions. Depending on what Minecraft version you're on, please make sure that what are, that you're on the correct version for mods, whatever you're gonna use. Because sometimes an incompatible mod will crash your ser your thing, and you may have to just start over the entire mod pack you're just creating. So we don't want you to do that, and I don't want you guys to like be frustrated and why it's crashing, but other than that, make sure you're on the right version of Minecraft, whatever version you want. I do suggest for like for best versions, anything from 1.19.2 to 1.20.1. But uh, for game types, there's Forge, Fabric, Kilt, Neo Forge, and then Vanilla. Most importantly, we're just going to be use Forge. Any times you're going to be using Fabric, it's going to be a completely different uh, process because you know most people either use between Forge and Fabric. Uh, we're gonna be only using Forge for right now. I am not like a fabric expert, but I know that it requires like a different like a uh, way for shaders. So we're not gonna go into detail with fabric, but we are gonna be going into detail into Forge. Now from Fort Mod Loader versions, uh, make sure you're on the right one because sometimes you got to like lower it or upper it. But right now, I think we should be fine. We're gonna go on to 1.20.1 and to address one of the problems you guys are probably having uh so you know for just shaders also this is where you look up your mods and stuff so you know you got some mods you can look here's the very important this is where downloads is uh the, the date of release the version of the games it can run on so anything from that version and higher of course and then what uh the forge versions you can not forge version what 
game types you can run on. So you can run on Forge, Fabric, or Neoforge, of course. This is filter, so you can filter it however you want. Categories, there's a whole lot of categories. Uh, you can also sort by features, or by, like, say, popularity. But for right now, I'm going to show you the other thing, the little glitch that's been happening, because I've also seen it. So whenever you download Rudium for this version of Minecraft, well, if I can spell, Ru okay, Rudium, and then you also download Oculus for just, you know, shaders, of course. Uh, so before we get into that, we're, you know, we're also going to show you uh, resource packs, you know, get some resource packs, you know, click on that, that, and you download, same thing for like, you know, want to do category C such and you know uh, you can also click don't touch this because then you'll get other things from the from like a different version you only want specifically for the version you're working with and then lastly uh worlds you can download a world well not download a world but you can use any of the worlds that are available if you want to download a world you would have to go through if you have a certain website you just simply download it and then drag and drop into the world folder in your modding folder so if you have a world or a fold a, game, a world you want to download from like an outside source, you would basically go here, open modeling folder, and then you just put it into your world. So we don't have anything right now because you know we haven't opened the game yet. But I'll I'll show you guys in more detail. Say I'm just gonna install something random, and we're just gonna get some shaders just so I can show you guys what would happen right now with this current version of the game. So. Uh, we open that, press play. I'm going to move this so over here so you can see it. All right, see, so you see my Minecraft's opening, right? Right? But just you wait, it's going to probably crash. Yeah, see, it crashed. So hold on, let me just move it again. So basically, if you guys are getting something like this, you just view your crash reports. And you know, sometimes people can't really read these, but uh, basically what's happening is that um, Rudium is making the game. Well, if I can find it, where's Rudium? Rudium, yeah. Sodium, yeah. See, it's basically sodium. So it's Rudium is messing it up because I don't know what's wrong with it, but there's like some sort of glitch or like. But I mean, the, the, to see it like this, this is compatible with the version you're on, and such. But for some reason, it's just I don't know what's wrong with it. It's like some sort of glitch. It hasn't updated since what January, and. I don't know, but you could probably change, well, if you can change your version, that's a very great thing. You may have to go down a version, so either that, just disable this completely. Rudium doesn't work. If you just want to specifically only use shaders, we right here, Oculus, we'll just press the play again, continue. So basically to fix this glitch, you got to disable Rudium so that, you know, it, it doesn't happen again. That's, that's just a quick little thing how to deal with the little uh, glitches from this apart from that you may have to go down a game version so whatever i believe anything from 1.19.2 and 1.19.4 should Press work to enable but basically your minecraft should work and then this is where you check your mods options video settings and shader packs where it will be right here like that press done 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 single player and see the world that we just added should be here so we can just press continue but yeah that's basically an example and we're falling out of the world okay but yeah basically that's basically it how you get well fix that sh little shaders glitch basically if you press the three dots you can add more content of course this is where you can do profile options if you want to change the current but easier way to change it is by going to well also you can also export profile if you want to share with friends if there's like a little glitch with your like uh, thing you just repair you can also delete it of course now for like mod folders this is what everything will look like to you for like some people well it should look like for everyone so this is your configs crash reports default configs your logs this is where your mods will be if you want to like add a mod from here and just you can add it Same, something like you know optifine if you want to add optifine you can uh, i have a tutorial on optifine you can go check that out resource packs if you have like a resource pack you want to add here you can just make sure that it's compatible with the version you're on and then it should work fine uh, saves this is where your worlds are you can actually import worlds here so if you want to import your worlds, you can import it right here 
I believe there should be a folder for just world sometimes, but I'm guessing you would have to, I'm not 100%, but you would probably have to add it here so where you can get your worlds or, you know, um, it's added from, you know, you can't add it from here. If you just something you want to search on curse for it to be in, if you have a custom world you want to add, you just add it to your saves. But that's basically all the things you you can do with Curse Forge. Um, if there's, there's anything I missed, please let me know. In the comments down below. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sniffle out.